Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel. And um, if you have random freezes, if you have blue screens, two videos we just talked about, can't seem to find any solution, can't seem to find anything that could be doing it. Maybe they are brand new and you didn't have any of those before. Uh, something happened, obviously. Um, and you're thinking, well, you know, is there something as a, um, like, you know, for somebody that it doesn't know much about computers that I could do that would at least be something I could t try out to fix my problems? Well, the uh, best thing when a computer freezes a lot or a computer uh, has blue screens and it's almost impossible, you don't really understand why all of that is happening, doesn't seem to have anything wrong, at least uh, by observation. Uh, the thing that you could do, because these can also mean other things. It could mean bad software installed. It could mean a uh, malware. Malware are known to crash PCs a lot. Um, it could be all sorts of little things like that. You might not know about it. Once again, you know, I always say, uh, don't rely on your antivirus to tell you you have malware. A lot of them are actually totally undetected. So what you could do is do a clean install. There's a pretty high chance by doing a complete reinstall of Windows that things will actually be better after. But it has to be an install where you get rid of all the software and drivers you had. It has to be really what we call a clean install, which is a complete reinstall of Windows to its basic form without all the software and the things that you had. And from there, you can start building back your PC. It's a long process. It's a process that's very time consuming, but it's a process that can be rewarded with a great PC that runs okay after, that doesn't have any problems anymore. Um, it also has the added benefit of, uh, benefit of often being faster. So if you've been on the same install of Windows for a long time, it could actually help you out by having a faster PC. And slowly reinstall the software and the devices you have, and don't go too fast. Install them slowly and look at the behavior of your machine if everything's all right. Sometimes by reinstalling, you notice that it's at a certain step, something you do, something you install, that actually starts making the PC freeze. And if you do detect uh, that maybe something you plug in your USB port or maybe a program you've installed, um, at least by going slowly, you can pin down if it's something you have, you did, or installed on your computer. But it's one of the first things to try before you know having it serviced. Uh, like I said, hardware is a possibility. It's it, it, it's possible that the computer has some kind of glitch. Um, but a clean install is the first thing you should try and um, really really re remove everything and completely do a, a reinstall of Windows and uh, check out what that does. Um, I think it's one of the first things to do. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.